Hey everyone, James with TFB TV live from the SHOT Show floor, SHOT Show 2020. Not really live, you're watching this on YouTube later, but shortly after we film it, I'm here with my good buddy Anthony at GemTech. And I know a lot of you guys have been keeping up with our TFB content and the written blog side. And you've seen that GemTech has brought out a pretty badass little nine millimeter suppressor. Uh, and not that you guys haven't done that in the past, but this is unlike what you've done before. So Anthony, tell us all about it. Alrighty, so what we have here is our new Lunar 9. Just dropped it two weeks ago. And it's the quietest and most versatile nine mil suppressor that GemTech's made up to this point. It uses the multi-mount system, so if you have a GM9 or a multi-mount can, all the mounts will work. So your three lugs, your direct threads, and are already on the market, so just run with it. Or if you just want to upgrade, you can pop to this one. It breaks down in the middle, so it's modular. This is fun. It's like arts and crafts. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we are sitting in our little arts and yeah, crafts it's like a little, here. Yeah, having a good time. It's kind of like, like Jenga. So we used a... We use a 17.4 stainless blast baffle. That's what gives us our full auto rating and just to increase durability. All the other baffles are 70-75 aluminum with a type 3 hard coat. And what that allows us to do is just easier to clean. They all index together. So, you know, all the crud stays within the baffles and you get the, you know, you don't have baffles sticking to So tubes. they index together, yeah, you yeah. mean they've got the little notches. Yeah. And I can't screw it, even a total animal like me, like yeah. I can't screw this up. Yeah, and, and we made it so if you were to assemble it incorrectly, you'd actually have a visible gap on the outside. So you'll know if you assembled it wrong. So that way you're not gonna shoot a improperly assembled suppressor. But, you know, again, multi-mount system, pistons for all your nine mils, many different, you know, direct thread mounts, three lugs for your MP5s and so on. How and long did you guys take to design this? So we've been working on this for probably about a year and a half is when initially it started. It started from another prototype, but then sort of to give it more, you know, just more versatility for a wider range of users. We decided to, you know, the mounting system, the two piece, you know, going from a seven inch full configuration to a 4.7 inch short configuration, just for the PPC guy, for the PCC guys, keep your overall length low. In terms of sound reduction, Sounds for Shop did their RTR and they're getting between 125 and 123 decibels, which is pretty smoking quiet for a 9mm. Um, aluminum, now I'm, it's not the blast yeah. baffle, but aluminum baffles, should that bother me? I don't think so. For a 9mm, you really don't need it. And what we're able to you know, get is lightweight. You know, we're not shooting 5.56, five, we're not shooting anything super high pressure. So 17.4 or you know, a steel or a titanium just really isn't needed. So. Is this a gap that you're talking about, or if you assemble yes. it incorrectly? There right. it is. See, so I mean, you knew you can count on me to do that for you. Yeah, Perfect no. example. Here, show oh, us. Yeah. So, what I guess you did is that the baffles aren't sort of all seated up all nicey nice with each other. So, just there get your go. on your index point. I just like to take like my Lego. just take my finger and then. Screw it on, you should be a okay. And then I can take, of course, the end cap off of yep. this stack and then drop it right here and make like a short suppressor. Exactly, yeah, and the end cap uses a 3 8 drive, so there's no proprietary tools here. Just grab your drive from your thing and just ratchet it off, and if you ever to get, you know, it's stuck, again, you have a lot of leverage there too, so. You're full auto rated, what else are you rated for? I mean, we'll do like 300 blackout subsonic? Yep, you'll do 300 blackout subsonic. Oh. All right, see, that's cool. I've, I've loved that, that trend that we've seen with people with like nine suppressors with, uh, with shooting 300 blackout subsonic. I mean, I think so too, you know, ballistically, you know, it's just the same as 45 ACP, right. but your diameter's smaller, right. and I mean, Thinner blackout subs are just great. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to hear those through this thing. And that brings me to the fact that you guys are going to send me a review copy. We are going to so send them a review copy. This is coming to TFB TV very soon. But when is it coming to the market and how much is it going to cost? So full SRP is only 616, so you'll probably see it for less once you get to retail. We really just wanted to give everybody, you know, a really reasonable price and as many options as possible. You have the, it's basically two suppressors in one and then you have all the different mounting options, so there's really nothing in 9mm you can't put it on. Well, I'm pretty pumped about this. I mean, you, when you think you've kind of seen it all when it comes to suppressors, especially 9 mils, it's nice to see some innovation, some new features. Anthony, thanks for telling us all about it. Yeah, Guys, you. stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2020.